Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we are going to just jump right into this. We're sharpening ZDP 189 around 68 HRC. Now, this is on the Monterey Bay Knives Pincher that's in for sharpening, and I just want to say my audio is probably not going to be the best. This is not my microphone, so excuse the audio. I am switching everything around right now, but let's get into this. So, the ZDP 189 at 68 HRC is incredibly, incredibly hard. Now, if you know anything about HRC and hardness, well, glass, you can cut glass around 66.7 HRC. I believe that's what it is. So that kind of gives you an idea of how incredibly hard this steel is. So, and you know, obviously it has some toughness factors to it. The reason why it doesn't just shatter like glass, but it is incredibly, incredibly hard. You know, uh, Rockstead does theirs, their ZDP 189 around the same. So this is similar to like what you'd expect from Rockstead. Now, having that high of HRC is going to incredibly increase the edge retention. So instead of it being so, you know, something like a mid-grade steel, it's going to be basically like a super steel with this high of HRC. So once I got it on the stone, it, I could feel how incredibly, incredibly hard it was. It almost glass-like. It definitely felt like it was skating across the stone. And, you know, and that's just how it's going to be you know i i'm sharpening on diamonds and i didn't want to start with an incredibly low uh grit diamond plate not saying that's right or wrong i just didn't think that that was a good idea in this case so i did start with my 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 coarsest venive stone which is 165 slash 125 micron now my plan is isn't to bring this to a very high grit but Getting it on the stone, setting the bevel, that's always the longest part of any sharpening job. And this, you know, maybe took a little bit longer than probably normal, um, you know, regular knives, which I don't know what that means. But, you know, on average, it took maybe a little bit longer to set my bevel. Uh, but because it's incredibly hard, you know, it it's easier to kind of hold and develop uh, an edge bevel because it's not being mushed around you know you know kind of think like putty you know a soft steel is always the hardest to sharpen in my opinion so the the diamonds just seem like they take much more they're more effective on uh, a high hrc or a well heat treated knife and setting the bevel, yes, it felt very hard on the stone. Yes, it felt a little skatey. But once I set my edge bevel, man, things started flying. And it's not like it was that hard to set my edge bevel, you know, aside from how it would normally be. It just felt harder. You know, a little bit more skatey across the diamonds. Now, after the edge bevel was set, it just, it was so easy to sharpen and i could really feel how keen this edge was going to be i could tell that this was going to take a really good edge and uh, you know i was kind of getting excited you know <laughs> but you know after um i you know started going through my stones i was only going to hit three stones you know my 165 slash 125 micron and i was going to finish on a 50 slash 40 micron which is it's like 500 grit, but it's right near 600 grit. And these are the, the 50 slash 40 is very similar to most 600 grit diamond plates I have. It's basically the same thing. So I consider it a 600 grit and that's where I took it to. Now, where it really started, um, uh, not, not started, where it really impressed me was during the burr removal. The burr removal was so easy. You know, that's very important when you're sharpening. You know, the more difficult that a burr is to remove, um, well, in some cases, a lot of times it means, you know, it can be a super soft, or not super, but it can be a very soft steel. 
but you know, not in all cases. And you know, steels like S110V, the burr can be really finicky to remove. And there are just some steels out there that are like that. Well, this was nothing like that. This was incredibly easy to remove the burr. And I usually try to form small burrs because I, you know, that way when the burr is removed, it doesn't take anything. It doesn't tear anything from the apex when I remove it. Now, when I deburred it, I just took a couple single passes and it was already gone once i hit the strap the strap just basically cleaned everything up and it came out incredibly keen it removed so fast i almost didn't think it was <laughs> like like it came off so easy it was like you know i, I started to feel on the edge it was like oh what the what where's the burr like where is it because it just just came off so cleanly and the edge felt very very sharp very very keen now i haven't sharpened a lot of zdp 189 so i can't speak to what the best grit is to take it to or anything like that the the owner of this knife wanted it at 600 grit so that's what he got i did wind up stropping it on six micron gunny juice and on a leather strop and yeah i'm very very impressed with the steel um you know, I do think that it's, or it seems that it's done very well. It felt very good. And yeah, I'm definitely impressed and I enjoyed sharpening it. I think that, you know, you do want to have a little bit of experience sharpening before sharpening a steel like this. But I honestly, you know, and maybe this is just my experience talking, but I honestly don't think it's going to be that incredibly hard for people to sharpen. I really don't. You know, if you have a little bit of experience with sharpening, I, I think you could do this. You know, just expect the steel to be very hard on, you know, setting. Not hard to do, but very the steel itself being very hard. Um, now, this is the, the final edge. And you can see I didn't lay back the angle really far or anything like that. And the grind was slightly off, just a little tiny bit at the heel on one side. I did have to work on that a little bit more than the rest of the edge, but not a big deal. That's pretty common. And it came out just fine. It's It almost matches perfectly, but it's it's a little bit wider on one side. And you can tell when you face the, you know, the edge straight forward straight at you you can see that it's off a little bit uh meaning from the factory pretty common uh but came out really good i'm very happy with the edge it took it did take a very aggressive edge you know 600 grits a medium grit edge so it's not super coarse it's not super fine it's just nice nice and aggressive um, i'm very happy with the grit that was chosen to be on this and yeah that that's about it guys um thank you guys for watching and if you guys have any experience sharpening ZDP 189 at 70HRC or around 70HRC, let me know down in the comments what your experience has been. And if you ever want to use my sharpening service, you can hit me up on Instagram or through email. Everything is always linked down in the description along with all the sharpening supplies I use and every way to contact me. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.